Hey everybody. Well, let's just go ahead and address it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, the big white elephant. The porcelain throne. Yeah, let's just talk about it. So I put out a video yesterday. And I showed our master bathroom. And in that, as you all see, the toilet is in the shower area. It was designed that way on purpose. From the comments, I learned a lot. It was really easy to see a couple different things. One thing, many of you have never been to Asia. You've never been. It's so easy to tell by your comments because you were so bewildered by a toilet inside of our shower. You were totally bewildered by it. Well, I can give you some quick examples real quick. Our old house that I did not build. It was built by a Swedish gentleman. You know where the toilet is? Right down the beach here in our old house. It's in the shower. Melinda's mom's house next door. You know where the toilet is? It's in the shower. This afternoon, while you were all viewing that video, we were out with our friends Tim and Christina and they were showing us their house they've been remodeling and adding on to over in Iloilo and Haro. Guess where the toilet is? It's in the shower. It's very common. Some of you know. I noticed people like Edward that commented down there and a few others that it's part of the Asian culture. Thus it tells me that you all don't know the Asian culture. So you might be dreaming of coming to the Philippines or other places in Asia, but you act so astounded by mild changes that are different than your Western life. We're going to talk about it. We're going to address it. And I'm going to tell you my point of view of it. You can have your point of view, but I will say this, and I'm going to be a little harsh on it. If you want to come live in Asia and you want to be a part of the culture here, and you want to fit in here, you better become adaptable. You better be willing to adapt. You better be willing to see things different than you know in your Western society. And not all the West is the same as the United States and Canada as well. Other places in the world also have the same culture. So let's address this issue. Not an issue for me, but apparently an issue for you an issue from the culture that the first thing that happens when there was a world problem is run and go buy toilet paper. You're number one warrior in the world. Not food, not coffee, not gasoline, toilet paper for your butt. Sad society, sad, sad. Meanwhile, when all that happened, we were here in the Philippines and went in supermarkets. The aisles were full of tissue they don't call it toilet paper here, it's tissue because it's used more for wiping your nose than your bottom. Yeah, no problem here because they clean themselves with water. Yeah, I know it's kind of taboo, it's strange, it's exotic, it's foreign to many of you in the West. But not all the West. Again, there's many places in the West that also have that same type of setup. It may not be exactly the same. It might be a, a bidet. Japanese, the French, little deal comes out, psh, sprays water. Some people use the old bum gun. Yeah, do it manually. Yep, yep, the super soaker. And, you know, you might miss a little bit, get some water in the floor. Well, what's it gonna hurt if the toilet is in the shower. Yeah, the wet area anyway, right? So, uh, nice little things as we're gonna talk about this is, in our situation and throughout Asia here, even a lot of the hotels that was here for years before they decided to westernize to satisfy you foreigners, you expats to come in and you want to feel so westernized in an Asian country, Pretty ironic, by the way. Uh, you want to leave the West, but you want to bring the West. 
I'll back up and say something else there too. In Texas, I keep hearing Texas say, you know, don't California, my Texas. Well, um, and they'll say, you know, um, people will be coming into the U.S. from another culture. Don't come here and try to change our culture. But then you go to another place, and what do you try to do? You want to make it like back home, and you want to make it like the West. Well, I didn't. My house is not built like the West. I um, might have cast my walls and made them stronger and stuff, but I adopted a lot of Filipino way that's actually pretty common throughout a lot of other nations, once again, outside of the United States and Canada and some other Western nations. It's a pretty common build practice. Um, it's it's going to be called um, like uh, column and fill and pier and fill. You're, you're gonna, it's going to be post and beam and then you're gonna use a filler like hollow block or like I did, solid cast concrete and skip the hollow block. Well, other than that, this home's pretty typical built of the Philippines and of um, cultures outside of the United States. And the same our shower is as well. Now, for me, I like it. And that's why I put it in there. This was a choice that I wanted. And let me explain it to you. And we're going to go in there and let's have a little look. So here we are. We're in my master bath. Where you see that tile color change right there. The tile drops down about a half an inch. A little less on the ends. And about half in the middle. Because it's kind of pan shaped for the water to go to that drain. So it's maybe a quarter down there, a quarter down there, and maybe almost a half the middle. So the water will go into the drain right there. There will be, once I get a glass company to come out, a set of glass doors on this. And then one door will be uh, an opening to this end right here. So that makes that shower closed in. So I'm going to go over some of your comments that I read that's just in my mind right now. And we're going to address them. Y'all are really laughing and having a hey-ho and that just... Uh, told me that you don't know much. Told me that you have not had any experience out of the country. So you see that toilet right there. Let's just look here. You go in there, you close the door, you see there's a window there. Maybe you even have a fan and it's drawing out, you know, the smells. Well, that door now closed right there and you on the toilet in there and give somebody else a little relief that might be sharing the rest of the bathroom with you. Or maybe you don't want all that soaking up in your clothes somewhere. You know, because some of you, whoo, whoo, it can be bad. Nobody's smells like roses. Nobody's does. And they say, if you're going to build a house this big, it should have had its own private room. Well, it's a big structure, but it's not as wide across as you think. And... Yeah, I could have shrunk down right here and we had less counter space from where our cabinets are going to be and all. Um, to set a toilet in the middle of the floor out here all alone. Yeah, and we weren't going to build a special room just for it. Sure was not. Because we like it like this. It is common throughout Asia. Stop trying to make everything here about the West the west the west but in the usa but in america but in canada but in australia this isn't canada this isn't america and this isn't australia this is the philippines if you want to come here you need to learn to accept things you need to open your mind up when you travel and learn new things and sometimes you might even find out that it might even be better than the way that you've always known. So there's none of you boys out there that are going to tell me that you don't raise the old toilet lid up and you go to do your business and pssst, and you spray a mist and drip and everything on the whole entire rim of the toilet and down at the floor. Don't try to act like you're so perfect. Go in any public restroom 
gas station, fast food place, restaurant, truck stop, wherever, roadside stop, and have a little whiff and look. Boys make a mess. You make a mess. We all do. We all do. But right here, it's not a problem. Because we just take the little bum gun right here in this wet floor with a drain. Yep, same drain that is for the shower. And we give her a little old pshhh. And we give her a little clean down real quick. And we hit that inside of that rim. Woo, man, look at there. Maybe I had a little accident right there. And you would spray the floor on down. And boom, we've got a clean toilet. A clean toilet. Then, this right here, this is solid, heavy, like a PVC plastic, strong, heavy. It's not wood, not them old cheapy Walmarts, you know, or at the Dollar Tree or at Big Lots in the US. No, this is a strong, good quality plastic one. Nice thick lid, very thick. Very well made. And it's so well made, take off my slippers here, that I can sit down on it. I can sit right down on this. I can sit down on it with a toilet lid shut, and maybe I have a bad back, and my back really hurts. Maybe I got a bad knee. Man, my knee hurts. And I don't wanna stand in the shower. Maybe I just wanna sit down a second. Maybe I'm gonna get down here and clean my feet. Yeah, well, it's an instant toilet seat in the shower. Yeah, I can take this little wand right here and shh, get my feet right here. Yeah, scrub them, sit right down in the toilet. You know what else happens at the same time? You're cleaning your toilet, yeah. No little pee pee smells in our house. No, there is not because our toilet stays clean all the time. Every time you shower, you're cleaning the toilet. Every time you use the restroom, you can spray off and clean the toilet. Hmm. Not wait for your old lady to do it while you made a big old mess of it. Might be why some of you guys end up divorced. So throughout Asia, very common to put a toilet in a shower. Somebody said, why would you want it in there and you're gonna trip on it? So you're gonna tell me the several feet across in front of it is not enough room for you to shower. Plus you got all this space to the side. Uh, we're gonna trip on it. Is it a, a stinching cord laying in the floor? What am I gonna trip on? What, what am I gonna trip backwards and sit down? Whoa. I'm just telling it like it is. You are fixated on the one thing that you know. And I'm gonna tell you this too, for me living in the West and building in the west there's a whole lot of houses built with wood in the u.s with rotten floors all around the toilet all rotted out right around the toilet because the toilet is always getting a mess around it the seal underneath there maybe it leaked the water at the tank or something maybe it's dripping uh, maybe the seals went bad on the back of the toilet and your house gets damaged from what? The toilet, the toilet damaged into thousands of dollars worth of damage, you know, to your house. But here, let me show you what happens when the toilet leaks. Yep, if here we develop a leak right there at the tank, at the floor, at the wall, at the bum gun, there's where it goes, right there. It don't flood my house. It don't do anything but go down the drain. Melinda's sister and her boyfriend Richard have a house there in Dallas, Texas. Nice, beautiful, two-story house. And a uh, really nice neighborhood there as well. They left their house, hadn't even owned it very long. Probably hadn't even made the first payment yet. And they left their house to go on a vacation. It's gone for a couple of weeks. Neighbor calls. Their house is flooding. Yeah, their house is flooding because the hose right here that attaches from the valve on the wall up to the bottom of the tank, that little cheap plastic nut, 
that most of those are sold in Lowe's and Home Depot are these days. The twist on, it split, cracked, popped off, and it was the upstairs toilet, flooded the entire home, dropped ceilings out. I mean, it was no place left unscathed. For the next over a year or so, they have been dealing with contractors and rebuilding a house that they never even really got to live in. Yep, all because of a toilet. All because of a toilet. Of course, insurance paid, right? They had put them up in a hotel for a good while, like an apartment. And, um, and eventually they came back to their house. They were tired of living in that hotel situation and continued to live in the house while it was worked on with construction going on and all this being drug out forever, all over a toilet. But we won't be having that problem. Any kind of leak, go straight in the drain. Say so if that drain overflowed, there's a secondary drain. You know, me not so stupid after all. I have no shame in it. It is just very common in this country. I like it, it's a space saver. Instead of having a separate stall, say like right over here, it just saves space. Now it's all combined in one. It's clean, clean. It's safe, it's waterproof, it's flood proof. It's more hygienic and it's dual purpose. So while you're running over each other, trampling each other in the aisles when the next problem comes along in the world to get your toilet paper, not us. We're gonna be in there in our nice clean restroom, spraying water, cleaning our butt a good hygienic way. Um, not spreading it thin. <laughs> Not spreading peanut butter on some bread and just just say it like it is and uh, We're gonna have our nice clean restroom our nice clean floor and we're gonna be enjoying sit down scrub our feet and Be happy while you are posting on Facebook of the crisis that you cannot get toilet paper Everybody we'll see you on the next one